Here's the thing, I owe a lot to Bill O'Reilly. This episode of the Hollywood Reporter News is brought to you by Gucci Guilty Absolute. Late night hosts and comedians had plenty to say about Bill O'Reilly's Fox exit on Wednesday. Fox News confirmed the news earlier in the day that the longtime O'Reilly Factor host would be parting ways with the network. The news came after an investigation was initiated because of resurfaced claims that women were paid $13 million by the network and O'Reilly to keep quiet about sexual harassment and verbal abuse claims. O'Reilly issued a statement responding to his dismissal later in the day, calling the harassment allegations completely unfounded. But that didn't stop Late Night from jumping into the fray. Let's count down the top five Late Night reactions to O'Reilly's exit. At number five, we have the Late Late Show's James Corden, who filled us in on Fox News' very strict 28 strikes and you're out policy. The number four reaction? Jimmy Kimmel jumped in to say that while the host was on vacation, Fox News decided to extend his vacation to forever. Kimmel is nothing if not a problem solver though, so he was quick to jump in and offer a replacement. At number three, we have a show that wasn't even on the air Wednesday. Samantha Bee's Full Frontal is on hiatus for the week, but that didn't stop the show from chiming in with a Twitter farewell to the host. The tweet fixed O'Reilly's statement. All right, let's break it down. We have quotation marks around the word news, informed is replaced with lied to, and part ways due to completely unfounded claims now becomes being a sexual predator. Did Samantha Bee just drop the mic without even being on the mic? I don't have a mic either. The number two reaction came from The Daily Show's Trevor Noah, who posted a video to Twitter parodying what? I'm, re I'm reading the prompter. Fine, fine, we'll do it live. All right, if you don't get this reference, this is real found footage of O'Reilly from a few years ago. No. We'll do it live, F it. Do it live, I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. And cue Trevor Noah. We'll do it live, we'll do it live, F it. We'll do it live, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Noah also ran through a highlight reel of O'Reilly's best moments, including a story the former Fox News host told of eating dinner in Harlem with Al Sharpton that Noah called so racist that I can't even be mad about it. And the number one late night response, drum roll please. Hot mic. Who else could it be? Over on The Late Show, Stephen Colbert recounted his years long history with O'Reilly. I owe a lot to Bill O'Reilly. I spent over nine years playing a character based largely on him, Colbert said, bringing in the Fox News personality's biggest fan, conservative pundit Stephen Colbert, for a statement. Shame on you. And what? Suddenly sexual harassment's a crime? But that's the country we live in now. Obama's Trump's America. Obama's Trump's America. Let's leave it there. So what's your favorite reaction to O'Reilly's exit? Let me know in the comments, guys. For the Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Paul Gustavo, what does that mean, play us out? No. What do you mean, play it? I'll do it live. I'll do it live! <laughs> <laughs>